Right, so we all know that I'm the 60 guy, I own a 60, I do all the 60 walk arounds, um, or well, anything 60 that comes 60, in the yeah. yard really. I'm the 40 guy. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, um, but what have you gone and done, Paul? What I, is this behind us? I've done the whoopsie. Like you wanting a 40, Richard's bought himself a 40, I've bought myself a 60. Yep. We can't help ourselves buying toys. Let's face it, you just want to become one of the cool kids. <laughs> I get it, man. I, get I do it. like your car, man. <laughs> so, hey. so look, look, this turned up um, on the back of a truck. Is it what you expected? No, <laughs> no. It, uh, well, it wasn't meant to have the 2F in it, it was 3F. Yeah. Um, I saw no pictures of rust, no, look the dash, uh, different wheels are on it now, um, the dash is missing now. Yeah. It's come all the way from South Australia, yeah, yeah. so I couldn't go and inspect it. Look, this happens a lot, right? You see yeah. pictures of cars, you can yep. fall in love with them, you know, uh, they're never what they're, no. they, they look like mm. on the photos, are they? It, this one's going to take a bit of work, but um, I think even you said it when we pulled it off the truck, we're in deep, mm. like all oh, you're in, just do it, send yeah. it Paul, and, and, and I've already fallen in love with it. That's it's it, like, this it. is the car that I'll um, get ready for the family. Right, you said a key point there, family. Family. Now, family. Family. Now, family. Family. Now, family. 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 It's a big part of why you bought this car, tell us why. Yeah, I, um, I have a ute. Yep. We know I have a ute, I wheel a ute, I've done a lot of salt. You've been with me, done um, big trips in my ute. The ute doesn't get all of us on the beach. I don't want to like, um, you hop in this car, you hop in that car. So I need a 60. I've got a 105. Um, so do my parents and they're grey nomads. No offence to the 105 owners, I've just offended them, but it's not the car for me. Yeah, we look, so, we're, so Mr. Land Cruiser here. We're into, old, yeah, we're into old cars yeah, and I've fallen sense. in love with every 60 that drives in the gate. Yeah. So um, I've got this one and I've got plans. The 2F's got to come out of it. Um, the roof, the roof is, um, there was no rust in the pictures on the roof. Um, so it's time to address it. And I'm not talking about a, a body off. I don't mind even a um, bit of fibre bog and yeah, spray yeah, it because yeah. this is my own car, it's not a client's car. But this is nowhere near as bad. Everybody knows mine was in a yeah. really bad state when it came in. So I don't think Yours was driving. Yeah, it was driving. <laughs> yeah, no, so we could this go. has got a 2F in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Yeah. But, um, there's not loads to do to this thing body wise. Yeah. Um, but come on, what are we going to do under the bonnet? First thing is um, we've got. Uh, two H's laying around here. Ones that we haven't done compression tests on yet. Yeah, all ones that are just a little, little bit over. Yeah, yeah, I'll have one of them. Yeah. I'll throw that in my car. I don't need a fancy one because um, it's, you know, we'll, we'll save the nice ones for clients and um, we just send the other ones until right. they die. And they tend not to die. No, so. no mine's still yeah. going, man. Yeah. Mine on the side for 18 Leaks months, a lot, so. but yeah. yeah. But yeah. no, so motor yeah. um, and address. I'd like to address the roof and we, we've got an advantage. We wreck. 60 so i'm gonna um pick the nicest dash pick the nicest um seats uh, and be a little bit um and spoil myself with some of the wrecks and tidy this up we might give it a bit of a shut door yep. uh, i don't know yet we have to spray the roof so yeah some um some wheels yeah well you've a few got bearings some, you've got some stashed away km3s or whatever they call. i've got brand new ease in yeah, there yeah, like yeah so floating you around put them on your ute? and put the ute ones on here just because yeah. i've got them and um we've got a factory bumper bar so this poor old girl's gone do the factory. I love like the square headlights. This thing's got dents, but um, let's transform it enough so it's it's safe. Looks good from a distance. And um, Easter going to Fraser Island. It's got to be ready. This is coming with us. Deadline. Yeah. Boom. It's a good deadline. Well, well, look. Let's get the engine let's out. Let's get the engine out. Get CJ <laughs> on it right now. Get this. Um, the this, ball bar off. Ball bar, put yeah. Scrap steel. Crack on. Yep. Let's do it. Nice. Okay, update time. The three F is out and the two H is in. Yep. It's a. Uh, oh wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah cool. That was it. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. What I've quickly got to mention is the flooring as well. Um, this is in excellent, absolutely excellent condition, uh, vinyl-wise. We sell no bull, so we sell this in carpet. We sell this in vinyl uh, replicas, and I thought I'll just throw a new one in there. No need, the Toyota one with the Toyota Land Cruiser riding. Um, just gave it a quick gurney, so I'll give it a bit better of a scrub, but it has come up beautiful. Okay, update time. 
the 3F is out and the 2H is bolted in. Well, you make it sound so easy, right? But there is actually a bit more of a process to uh, swapping out to a diesel from a 3F. Um, it's not just a straight swap in the 60s. Uh, the mounts are different. You have to chop the chop some en the, the chassis mounts off of a, a HJ60. Um, and they, it's, it's a whole different position, yeah. so they have to be welded, cut out. We're pretty lucky yeah. we got um, we got chassis. Oh, yeah. so. Chassis that are cactus as well, they're yep. not going to go anywhere. Yep. They're not going to be used again, so we just... So we pick the uh, the average bits off mm -hmm. and keep the good bits. That's right. So, But other than that, it's um, new, better, so H bell housing, so diesel yep. bell housing, diesel engine, um, the right mounts. Um, so we've got no glow now yep. at all. We've got no edict control now. Yep. We'll have a loom. We'll build a loom up for that, and we'll get an edict motor running, so we can have it running and turnkey and everything. Yesterday, it um, fired over really sweet, no glow at all. I was massively yeah, just kicked straight in the guts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. couldn't believe it. How about we start yeah, it yeah, now? Here we go. See, Give a little example. This morning, it's not a cold morning. No, but, it's you know, yeah. going to be a warm day, but let's look. How cool is that? Honestly, I'm blown away because how old's that engine? How many k's is that engine? Yeah, it's, unknown, yeah. it's an unknown one. It was one that we felt was um, the clock said so many k's. We thought we won't sell this one. We yeah. won't do a compression test. Yeah, we'll just chuck it. And we'll just throw it in. It yeah. runs. It. Um, we use it in one of our videos. So we knew it fired over, yeah. and now it's in here. So yeah, cool. there's a bit to go electrical yeah. and stuff. So, yeah. but um, we're, um, Richard's sitting on the tire. We've got. Um, I went and bought myself some cheap R Steelies yeah. just to um, get them on the road. I, I love sun razors. They're. Um, so these are Neg 22s. Neg 22s. So they're gonna because because you've got you haven't got the uh, the guards uh, the, the flares on this one yet. Yeah. No. So they'll 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 fit in there just nice. Yep. The 33s will fill these arches really well. Yep. And they'll look tough as hell, man. No, they um, should sit proud. A little bit taller than what's on there. Yeah. I do notice there's some um, there's some used or new. I don't know. I saw some um, extended shackles floating around here. Yeah. I'll probably whack Something them in there yeah. for a bit of space. Also, inside, inside there was a whopping great big crack in the dash. Mm -hmm. And I was sure that we had an uncracked brown dash, all period correct. Yeah. Well, and we didn't. So. Um, <clears throat> CJ come in and said, in the container there's only a, a grey dash. And I thought, oh bugger, and Richard pipes up and says they, um, they're interchangeable. Yeah, so. interchangeable, and it's going to be a bit of a two-tone thing. Yeah, I really don't care. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted an uncracked dash in there. Yeah, so. dash mat on it. Yeah, yeah. never know. It's, um, even the, one of the seats is ripped, so whatever goes in, goes yeah. in. But So now it's got the new dash in there. There's a ton of wiring to do. You should go have a look um, in there, actually. Check yeah. out the floors. There, um, the seats and everything have been out. So um, all the flooring's been out, it's been just cleaned, but what we've got to do now is clean the floor. We have noticed no rust. No rust. Underneath, everything's up high, there was roof racks. So right, Remember mine, when we, when we pulled the carpet out, there was just gaping holes yeah, in the floor. Yeah, and start we welding. Catch up and yeah. all that. But this is really, really good. I think probably the only thing, I'm going to look for a front guard. Yeah. There's some damage at the front. Um, if I can't find one, I know we've got the early ones, and you're capable of converting them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's actually a really simple modification. Yep. Just the little tabs that take the, the uh, headlight surrounds, the, the square headlight surrounds, yep. you just cut that out. Yeah, 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 yep. And also the hood lining's still in there, it's half out. Mm -hmm. Before we can fix um, the rot in the roof, um, that's just going to start a fire otherwise, yeah. so that's going to fully come out. And um, it is booked in. It's a, again, it's a shut door with the roof repaired and nothing else. So it's probably um, interesting to say, if you ever take your 60 for a roof repair um, and they say they're going to do a proper job on it, if they don't take the roof lining out, they're not doing, doing a proper, a proper job. job. Yeah, they are just bogging that up. He, um, he offered a bit of bog and yeah. I thought, I hummed and hard and I thought, um, it's, it's not coming right off, so there's no warranty that it's going to last for 20 years. It is what it is and I just want to get a dirty old yeah. 60 up and running and make it look shiny on the outside. If you do weld up there, you will set a light to your headlight. Yeah. Your roof <laughs> so this yeah. one's coming out. And, yeah. um, there's a lot of uh, interior bits and bobs to go and a lot of tweaking, but um, we're getting there. We want it for Easter and it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Bloody beauty. Nice 
tell us why one of the reasons... No, f*** you. <laughs>